I did two races before coming here and um, testing in the wind tunnel, so fitting a lot of stuff in. And yeah, now it's the exciting bit. Got a good, what, four weeks build um, to the next race. My next race is um, on the 7th of August, um, Boulder 70.3. Yeah, so I think um, the biggest thing for, for us now is um, obviously the Collins Cup and the World Champs um, in St. George. And we went to St. George in May with the, with the big idea of reconning the course um, and making sure we could we could dial in as much as we can. And uh, with it being a championship race, it's always attracts a good field. So it was great to to go out there and um, check it out, see see the course, race against fast people, and um, see what we could learn from that uh, going into the World Champs. So. With me coming out a little bit earlier than planned, um, we're going to try and bring you some cool content, uh, bring you into our lives a little bit, uh, bring you into the training life. Um, Do a couple of strength and conditioning sessions. Yeah, kind of just bring you into everything and, and help you understand what it, it takes and what it is like being um, in that athlete life. And obviously it's not always like um, just a day in the life like you see on some YouTube channels. Um, there's a lot of boring stuff, there's a lot of sacrifice. Um, so we'll try to bring all of that to you as raw as we can. And um, yeah, we're not telling you that we're gonna be able to put out a video every week. We can't, yeah, we don't really know much about this stuff. So we're kind of winging it as we go um, and yeah, hopefully it's yeah it's definitely gonna, not going to be a movie production, but hopefully we can bring you a little bit of insight into our lives and um, into the training and what it takes to to get to um, St George in September. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, first thing when we came to Boulder, um, I'm pretty happy like running and and biking with myself and Jared and Jared being on the bike when I'm running, um, but swimming is something that yeah that. A swim squad, I think, always helps you swimming. So that was kind of mission one when we arrived was to find some, um, yeah, some people to, for, for me to swim with. Good set, 
started off with some exploring around where we're staying. So we're staying a little bit outside of Boulder in a small little town called Niwot. It's pretty Dog cool. City, which helps yeah. missing. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. I've, I miss Gotcha so much. I feel like now we have a base and, and we were a while in lockdown in Johannesburg. Yeah, flip. I got a little bit homesick. Um, but we FaceTime him every day. He's with Jared's parents and um, he is getting spoilt, loving life. Um, the first time I was here, I did we did what, like an hour cycle? Um, just to spin the legs out and explore and Jared tour guided and he took me, he was on the mountain bike, I was on the TT bike. So he was like, yeah, I'll just go um, up this road, up this road, I'll meet you here and um, then I'll show you the way back. Two hours later. Yeah. <laughs> He was like, right, left, and you'll know where you are. I had zero clue where I was. Um, so yeah, that was a good way for exploring So that a little was bit the extra. first Saturday we were here. Yeah. The Sunday, the first Sunday you, we were here, we went out on a lap, just running from home, um, out on the trails, mm -hmm. out of the back of Niwa towards the res. Um, I was on the mountain bike, so I could be a proper tour guide. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice here that you can literally run out your back door um, onto trails and you can run endlessly on trails not having to go onto tar roads not having, not having to avoid cars or traffic lights or anything like that so um, it's always nice getting out to the res yeah. big open space and seeing a few strong runners and active people all out around there yeah it is it's a nice sporty place it's got a good vibe um, we joined rally sport where we're, we're doing our swimming and um things with that's been cool i finally got to meet erin after yeah lots of um doing her virtual stuff online and and um, zoom calls zoom calls yeah and just learning about the concept of foundation training and um yeah exploring more into that it's been super cool yeah and we'll do some more stuff with that as well as we get into our little youtube channel and our series um putting out some more stuff that you guys can be interactive with some live videos joining us up joining us on those strength sessions um and yeah giving you giving a little bit of a, a journey and progression onto it not just like um not just a sponge where you can just absorb stuff there's a lot we want to give you a lot more back that you guys can also take take home and uh use in your everyday life but um yeah then what else have we done we've done some you've got some done some spicy sessions already on the mainly on the running yeah. um monarch road sessions. yeah uh the famous, the famous monarch, monarch road. road is it actually part of the um boulder run course There's the the potential is well the reason for it is that you still get the good work but you don't have the high impact on your feet which is super cool. Monarch Road is is nice because it's relatively flat. It's like a slight up or a slight down depending which way you run. Um, but it's literally exactly a mile from intersection to intersection. So a lot of your top runners, a lot of triathletes use that. I to, heard all about this in my talk. This is how he yeah. tour guides on my long runs. So this is 25k way. goes like that. He'll be like, "This is where um, Alex uh, Craig Alexander went, uh, went for a wee before mm -hmm. his session." So we did a f nice big ride to Carter Lake for our ride. Yeah. When was that? That was Two? last week. Yeah. Yeah. On Saturday, yeah. Um, we've done some really yeah. nice rides up in the mountains. So how Boulder works is the the, the town is at 1,600 meters above sea level and 
literally if you go west it's straight up into the rocky mountains and if you stay east um you you pretty much just in the in the in the plains so it's really good because you can time trial on the flats and you can go up um north towards carter lake and what did we do four hours of just pretty good time trial position and yep. then two days later you can ride five hours up into the mountains and get some good elevation so that's been really cool and yeah. also practicing the descending you know with yeah, st yeah, george super important for me um just handling and confidence on the bike like i love the hilly races i i really like to climb um but then the negative of that is um my descending isn't the best but we're we're working on that and especially if jared's been riding a, a road bike and just following him um on some switchbacks probably got to know the mountains a bit better than i liked yesterday um so i did a five hour ride and um Jared was meant to be doing a five hour ride and just see you at home. Like, get home, shower, wash, whatever. Uh, had some food and I'm thinking, Jared's still not here. And I've got a load of missed calls on, on my phone and then just a text saying, uh, I'm on peak to peak highway, absolutely freezing. I got caught in the storm, which, yeah, is something that we got caught out by the other day as well. Um, just some heavy storms here. Um, but yeah, so I, th I try to do the right thing went and drove up to pick him up, um, was halfway up left canyon, left hand canyon um, and yeah I'll run out of fuel so thankfully uh, a guy came driving past, good old Bob, Bob from Boulder, um, had a nice chat with him, he went and got some petrol, filled me up and then uh, yeah we went to say thanks the other day and then so Jared comes down the road as I'm waiting for Bob to come back, um, is descending down and he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's like way warmer down here. And rides off home. So yeah, seven hours in the back. Happy days. Moral of the story, don't try and be a hero. And moral of the story, we're going to check the weather forecast before each day now. Yeah. There's not much you can do anyway. That's all. Yeah. Change your plan to the kicker? No, thank you. I'd rather ride in the rain than ride the kicker. I'd rather ride the kicker than in the rain. So, yeah, that was yesterday. A good uh, six... Uh, Good few hours in the cra in the cradle. Good few hours in the mountain. Yeah. Um, today we started with a pretty spicy run. Um, yeah. A little Tim Don special swing set. Um, so and we did it on the Boulder 70.3 course. So trying to get used to just knowing it where kind of everything is, where the ups are, where the false flats are, where the gravel's loose or whatever it is. So. Um, yeah, we did Emma did 25Ks this morning with some change in pace, um, which was also different for you, um, yeah. like compared to your old training. Um, but yeah, one of the big things about being in Boulder before this race is acclimatizing to the, to the altitude. Because it's, it's hard, it's, it's definitely taxing on the body and learning how to control yourself and control your energy expenditures is pretty uh, important so yeah it's Murphy's, been good to be out here. Murphy's just fallen asleep I think this is quite boring <laughs> his head's literally just dropped but it's nice it's been like yeah it's felt like homely like staying with a family having yes. a little dog to look after and um, I think that's what makes it definitely easier us being here is that we're in a house of um, a friend friends of ours house um, that are currently away so we are doing chores, mowing the lawn. Um, <laughs> you are. Um, but I think as well, everyone's I'm just busy. been so friendly here. I'm busy. <laughs> the, mowing the lawn, doing chores. It's not just like you're in a hotel or uh, an Airbnb where you've got like just a small little space, you know. Um, it does definitely feel like home and I've been here for five summers, so everything except 2020 so it feels like pretty much like home yeah yeah well for me who's never been here before um i think it's super cool just yeah how many friendly um just nice yeah normal guys are here um we went for dinner the other day with um yeah some friends and i don't know just everyone's super welcoming super friendly and um so far it's been a great time definitely miss home but um 
and as well things that haven't been uh, great in South Africa and something that we've been waking up to the news each time, um, each morning, talking to Jared's parents and yeah, obviously um, thinking a lot about the guys at home and hopefully the, the unrest that's been there yeah. is, um, is going to get sorted and, and settle down. Um, but yeah, definitely not out of our minds. Yeah, but that's, it is, it is, as I said earlier, it is quite a sacrifice doing this and taking three months away from home is never easy, but with the travel restrictions and with how far South Africa is from most things, um, it kind of forces our hand and it's, it forces us to commit to this, which is part of the process and part of what this job entails. And um, yeah, we're excited to bring you what we can and hopefully we'll have some cool content for you guys and we'll be able to um, yeah, share our story a little bit. Yeah, I'm hoping that people will get interactive and yeah, write to us and any questions, anything you want to see, anything you want to know. Um, yeah, the idea of this is to be honest, open and, and like you said, get some, some raw stuff out there. Yeah. The good bag and the ugly. There's plenty yeah, of ugly. Yeah, there's lots of ugly, <laughs> but lots of good and a little bit of bad. But, yeah, bringing you our lives, what we do day in, day out, um, mainly what Emma does and what I tag along on. And, and a bit of Murphy. You're gonna be and a bit of Murphy. Murphy. We'll make Murphy famous. <laughs> Show Murphy to the camera. Okay. Okay, well, do a Lion King. Dun -dun. No, no Lion King for you. Yeah, this is our adopted dog, Murphy. Murphy O'Gorman. Are you Irish or are you American? He's actually Australian. He's just very cuddly. Fuzzy Doodle. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. We'll bring you as much content as we can. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have got any suggestions or any queries or anything like that, drop it in the comments and the usual fun things. Yeah. Subscribe, like, all of that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's get this ball rolling. Let's do it.